Hello, Anyan. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. So tonight we are having a makeup class, okay? Yeah. All right. Wait a minute, Anyan. Wait a minute. I just have to answer this one. Wait a minute. Okay, so how are you, Anya? I'm good, and you? I am good too, but teacher is hungry. Yeah, <laughs> because I um I wasn't able to have my dinner yet because um I have to finish first my um, what do you call this one my class to you okay so tonight we're having two lessons okay yeah because uh, as you remember teacher was absent for two classes that's why we had two. Mm, have a makeup class for it, okay? Yeah. All right. So, um, tomorrow, Anyan. Uh, no, no, no. Tomorrow is Sunday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, instead of tomorrow, I schedule it for tonight because my student was absent. So I think that we must study tonight, and then on Monday, Anyan. Okay, on Monday, I have a. I have a available time. Our class is 9 p.m., right? Yeah. Okay, our class is 9 in the evening. So let's have two classes again tomorrow. Is that okay with you? Uh, on, on Monday. Is that okay with you? Yeah. If we have two classes on Monday because um, I have a vacant time. So I just wanted to learn with you, okay? So... You call me at, let's start our class at 8 in the evening, okay? Yeah. So 8 in the evening, we have class. And then 9 in the evening also, we have a class. So let's have two straight classes again, okay? Yeah. Is that okay with you? You say yeah. Are you sure? Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. So again, on what time are you going to call me on Monday? Eight. Eight in the evening, okay? Don't forget. You call me eight in the evening, okay? Yeah. Are you sure? May uh maybe I will wait for you and then you don't call me. Okay, call me at eight in the evening so that we can have two classes. Okay, so let's start now our activity now, Anyan. Okay. <laughs> All right, so part one, Anyan, this is listening activity. So listen and draw lines. There is one example. Okay, wait a minute, Anyan. Do you know how to put a line on your answer? Yeah. Okay, that's good. So let's listen first and then um, put a line on the correct answer, okay? So let's begin. Part one. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Where's Jane? Jane? She's on the third floor. The third floor? What's she doing? She's playing the piano. Oh, yes. I can see her. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen 
and draw lines. 1. Where's Fred? Fred? He's on the first floor. What's he doing? Is he washing his clothes? No, he's in the bath. Oh, yes, I can see him. Two. Can you see Peter? Yes, he's on the second floor. Ah, he's watching a video. Yes, he is. Which one is Peter? He's wearing a sweater. Oh, yes, he's got curly blonde hair then. Three. Where's Paul? Is he watching a video? No, no, he doesn't like videos. He's playing on the computer. Oh, yes. He's on the third floor. Yes. Four. Can you show me Jill? Yes. Jill is on the bottom floor. With brown hair? That's right, with brown hair. What's she drawing? I don't know. I can't see. Five. Is that Sally on the third floor? Yes, she's playing her guitar. Now listen to part one again. Okay, one, one. more time. Where's Fred? Fred, he's on the first floor. What's he doing? Is he washing his clothes? No, he's in the bath. Oh yes, I can see him. Two. Can you see Peter? Yes, he's on the second floor. Ah, he's watching a video. Yes, he is. Which one is Peter? He's wearing a sweater. Oh, yes, he's got curly blonde hair then. Three. Where's Paul? Is he watching a video? No, no, he doesn't like videos. He's playing on the computer. Oh, yes. He's on the third floor. Yes. Four. Can you show me Jill? Yes. Jill is on the bottom floor. With brown hair? That's right, with brown hair. What's she drawing? I don't know. I can't see. Five. Is that Sally on the third floor? Yes. She's playing her guitar. That is the end of part one. Okay, so now let us check your answers. And yeah, number one, lines, uh, number one, Fred and the boy on the first floor in the back. Okay, correct, next. Peter and the blonde boy on the second floor. Correct, next. Paul and the boy on the third floor playing on the computer. Correct. Jill and the brown-haired girl on the bottom of the floor drawing. Correct. I oh, no, no, no. You are wrong. In jail. Yeah. And last one. Sally and the girl on the third floor playing the guitar. Okay, that is correct. So you got four points. Not bad. Okay, very good, Anyan. Okay, four points for you in the first activity. So now let's go to the second part. So again, this is a listening task, part number two. Listen and write. There is one example. Okay, in this part, and then you have to write your answer on the blank. Do you know how to write your answer? Yeah. Okay, very good. So let's begin. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Happy birthday, Jane. Thanks. How old are you? I'm nine today. Nine? That's great. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. What did your family give you? Mummy and Daddy gave me a boat. Wow! You mean a sailing boat? Yes, a toy sailing boat.
too. And my sister gave me a basketball. Do you play a lot of basketball? Yes, but soccer is my favourite sport. Three. What did your brother give you? Clothes. He always gives me clothes. Four. How old is your brother? He is older than I am. He's thirteen. Thirteen? Yes. Five. And what's his name? His name's Luke. How do you spell that? L U K E. Now listen to part two again. Can you one. one more time? What did your yeah. family give you? Mummy and Daddy gave me a boat. Wow! You mean a sailing boat? Yes, a toy sailing boat. Two. And my sister gave me a basketball. Do you play a lot of basketball? Yes, but soccer is my favourite sport. Three. What did your brother give you? Clothes. He always gives me clothes. Four. How old is your brother? He is older than I am. He's thirteen. Thirteen? Yes. Five. And what's his name? His name's Luke. How do you spell that? L U K E. Okay, that now let us check. That is the end of part two. Okay, so number one. Okay, this is about Jane. How old is Jane? Answer is nine. So number one. Present from mom and dad is a toy sailing boat, correct? Number two, favorite sport is soccer. Okay, that is correct, e uh, but your spelling is wrong, okay? Anyway, that's still correct. Presents from her brother. Answer is clothes. Okay, next one. How old is Jane's brother? 13. Brother's name is Luke. Okay, very good, and uh, and yet, so called. Mm, okay, I will give this point also to you because it's also a clothes. Okay, very good, and yet, you got a perfect mm -hmm. score again. That's good, you're improving. Okay, now let's have part number three. What did Lucy do last week? Okay, so again, and yet, you have two. Draw a line on the day of the correct answer. So let's begin now. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Lucy do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Lucy. What did you do on Saturday? Oh, I helped Mum and Dad, Uncle Tony. Did you help them in the garden? Yes. There's lots of work to do there. Can you see the line from the word Saturday? On Saturday, Lucy worked in the garden. Now you listen and draw lines. One. What did you do on Tuesday? I went shopping with Mum. To buy some food? Yes, we bought lots of food on Tuesday. Two. 
And did you have a good day on Sunday? Yes. We were all at home. Your brothers, Tom and Bill, too? Yes. It was a nice sunny day. Mmm. We all played football in the garden. Three. I saw you on Monday. No, it was Friday. Did you? Where? By the shoe shop. Oh, I didn't see you. No, I drove past in the car. Did you buy any shoes? No, I didn't like any. Four. And were you at home on Wednesday? Um, well, after school I was. Did you play in the garden? Yes, my friend, Alex, came to my house and we both played outside. Does she go to your school too? Yes, she's in my class. Five. And what did you do on Thursday? Did you go shopping again? On Thursday? No, I watched TV. What did you watch? The football? Yes, it was a great game. Yes, I watched it too. Now listen to part three again. OK, one more time, Anne. Anne, yeah? Mm -hmm. One. What did you do on Tuesday? I went shopping with Mum. To buy some food? Yes. We bought lots of food on Tuesday. Two. And did you have a good day on Sunday? Yes. We were all at home. Your brothers, Tom and Bill, too? Yes. It was a nice sunny day. Mmm. We all played football in the garden. Three. I saw you on Monday. No, it was Friday. Did you? Where? By the shoe shop. Oh, I didn't see you. No, I drove past in the car. Did you buy any shoes? No, I didn't like any. Four. And were you at home on Wednesday? Um, well, after school I was. Did you play in the garden? Yes, my friend, Alex, came to my house and we both played outside. Does she go to your school too? Yes, she's in my class. Five. And what did you do on Thursday? Did you go shopping again? On Thursday? No, I watched TV. What did you watch? The football? Yes, it was a great game. Yes, I watched it too. That is the end of part three. OK, so now let us check. Are you finished answering, Anyan? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So, Tuesday, they went to the supermarket. Your answer is correct. Next one, Sunday, your answer is correct. They played um, football in the garden. Next one, Friday is also correct. They went to the uh, shopping center to buy some shoes. Okay, Wednesday is also correct. They went playing in the playground. And Thursday is also correct. She watched TV at home. Okay, very good, Anyan. You got a perfect score of five points. Yeah. So now let's proceed to the next part. Again, this is part number four. Listening activity. Listen and tick the box. There is one example. So again, Anyan, you have to listen to the audio file. And then after it, you must put a tick on the box of your correct answer, okay? Yeah. Let's begin. Part four. Look at the pictures. 
Listen and look. There is one example. What did Sally have for lunch? What did you eat for lunch, Sally? A burger. Only a burger? And some french fries. Did you drink anything? No, nothing. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. What did Ben do yesterday? What did you do yesterday, Ben? I played basketball. With some friends? No, with my brothers. How many brothers have you got? Four. Four brothers. Great! Two. What did Fred see yesterday? Where did you go yesterday, Fred? I went to the zoo. Did you see any lions? No, but I saw some pandas. Pandas? Yes, and a lot of monkeys. Oh, I love monkeys. OK, so now let's check. What did Ben do yesterday? Answer is letter B, correct? Next one. What did Fred see yesterday? Answer is letter C. OK, now let's proceed to part uh, number three. Oh, what happened? OK, again, 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 again. Three. What does Jim have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast, Jim? Bread and milk. Only bread and milk? No, I have fruit too. What kind of fruit? Bananas? No, apples and pears. Four. What pets has Peter got? Peter bought a new pet yesterday. What is it? A rabbit. He's got lots of pets. Yes, he's got a cat, a dog, and now a rabbit. And a parrot. Oh, yes. Five. Where does Jill live? Do you live in the countryside, Jill? Yes, I do. In a small house next to a lake. In the mountains? No, not in the mountains. OK, so now let's check. Number three. Where does Jim have for break? What does Jim have for breakfast? Answer is A. Next one. What pets has Peter got? Answer is A. Next, number five. Where does Jill live? Answer is letter B. OK, so Anya, you got a one mistake here. All right, so total of four points. Okay, now this is the next part. Okay, part number five. Listen, color, and draw. There's one example. So again, Anyan, prepare your coloring, uh, your color, okay? Because you have to color the picture on the screen. So, are you are you ready, Anyan? Yeah. Yes. Let's begin. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see the ball? What? You mean the basketball? That's right. Can you colour the basketball? What colour? Colour it brown. OK. The basketball is brown. Can you see the brown basketball? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. 1. Can you see the word shop? Yes, it's in big letters. That's right. Can you colour the letter H for me? Colour the letter H. 
OK. What colour? Colour it red. OK. Two. Are you good at drawing? I'm OK. Why? I'd like you to draw an eye. An eye? Where? On the sheep. OK. I'm giving the sheep an eye. Three. You can colour again now. Good. I love colouring. There are some flowers on the scarf. That's right. Shall I colour them? Yes. <coughs> colour them blue. Can I colour them yellow? OK. Colour them yellow. Four. What can I do now? You can draw some stars for me. Stars? Where? Draw them on the kite. There are some stars on the big hat. That's right. But I'd like some stars on the kite. How many? Two. Five. The last thing now. OK. Can you see the guitar? Yes, I can. What colour would you like? Uh, black. Uh, no, black's not very happy. I'd like green. All right. Colour the guitar green. Now listen to part five again. One. Okay, so are you finished doing it? Finish already, Annie? No. Yeah. Okay. Now let us check your answers. Color the letter H in the word shop red. All right, correct. Draw an eye on the sheep. Yes. Color the flowers on the scarf yellow. Oh, no. This must be yellow, and yeah, not the dress. Next, draw two stars on the kite. Correct. Color the guitar green. Very good. So you got one mistake again. You colored this one instead of this one. Okay. But anyway, anyway, that's still a high score. So very good. Still four points for you. Part five. Okay, so we're done with the first part. Okay, now I'm going to open one more. Okay, now let's continue. All right, so part one, Anian, look and read. Choose the correct words and write them on the lines. There is one example. Okay, so the example here is, this is the ninth letter of the alphabet. So the answer here is letter I. So again, Anian, you're just uh, you just have to choose your answers from the pictures, okay? 
Okay, Anyan? Okay, now read and answer question number one. This is one of the days of the week. Mm. Okay, uh, what is your answer? You choose your answers from the pictures. Monday. Again, again. One of the days of the weekend. Or oh, weekend means... Uh -huh. Saturday. Okay, let's see. All right, so Saturday is correct. Our next one, number two. This is the letter before hat in the G. Okay, letter G. Wait a minute, Anya. Okay, so number three, Anyan. This is the fifth letter of the alphabet. Mm -hmm. This is the fifth letter of the alphabet. Uh, no. Oh, what's the fifth letter of the alphabet? You can sing. E. Again? E. Okay, very good. Letter E, number four. This is the day best when Sunday and Tuesday. Uh -huh. What's your answer? Monday. Okay, Monday, that is correct. Very good. Next one. This letter is near the end of the alphabet. Uh -huh. Letter X. X. X, okay. Number six. This is a day. Before Thursday. Okay, this is the day before Thursday. Is Friday. Before or before it means before it Thursday, huh? Is Wednesday. Okay, that's good. Wednesday is correct. Okay, six points again, Anyan. That's good. So now let's have part number two. Look and read, right? Yes or no? So look at the picture, Anyan, and then you just have to answer yes or no. Number, uh, example, there are two fish flying above the river. Answer is yes. One of the spiders has got three black legs and five red legs. Answer is no. Okay, so question number one, Anyan, read and answer yes or no. What? The monkeys have curly toes. No. So. Okay, answer is yes. Yeah. The yellow flower are taller than the plant. Yeah. Yes, okay, wait, Anya. Oh. 
管。黑提示。Okay, number three, please. There is a spider on the man, Miss Cloud. No. Mm -hmm. Answer is yes. Okay, number four. The uh, after. Oh. The jungle. Uh -huh. No. No. Okay, number five. One of the girls you went because it's rainy. No. No. One of the girls drinking a glass of water. Uh -huh. No. Yeah. no. Okay, the answer is no. Because yes. she is holding a bottle, not a glass. Okay, so you've got two points for this part. Okay, now let's have part number three. Read the text and choose the best answer. Okay, so example. Hello, Jane. Answer is hello, Aunt Jill. Okay, so let's have question number one. Where are you going? See to my friends now. Okay, letter C to my friend's house. Very good. Number two, is there a birthday party? Is there a birthday party? B. Okay. Uh, what letter B? Can you read it, please? Yes. June 16. Okay. Very good. Number three. Did you buy some new clothes? Yeah. I, yes. I need some. Yes. I needed some. Number four. I like your hair. C. Thank you. Mom did it. Okay, very good. Next, number five. Shall I take you to the party? B. Yes, I want it. Yes, please is the answer. Letter C. Number six, have a nice time. I thank you. Hey, thank you. Very good. So you got one mistake only. So it means that you have a score of five points. Very good, Anya. All right, mm -hmm. so now let's proceed to the next one, part number four. Read, it, read a story. Choose a word from the box. Write the correct word next to numbers one to six. There is one example. Okay, so now read the story, Anyan, and then choose your answer from the pictures on the right side, okay? Yeah. Okay, start reading now. Oh, his name is Mitch. Mr. Banks. He has 10 bedrooms and a beautiful garden. Uh -huh. He
Okay, so what's number one? He? He driver. He? What's that? He driver. He drives. Okay, that's correct. Continue reading. He drives. For different cars and he used to Lies. fly to work in a helicopter. He has had every Saturday. Every Saturday. Saturday evening. Okay, Saturday evening. Continue. He plays the piano and dance. And dance? To music with his friends. Uh -huh. My friend really is in Kramer and don't have a big house. But Mr. Frank often comes to see you. Yes. Not Tuesday morning, I look. Looked it. I looked, okay. Out of my window, there were a lot of sound outside. Uh -huh. I went downstairs to, to have my breakfast in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Mom and Dad were there. Little Banks were too. Hello, I said. I can't go to school today. There's snow on all day. Huh? Ropes. Ropes. There's a snow on all the ropes. Roads, okay. I can I can take you to school in my helicopter team. Will you like to do that? Well, I said, yes, please. Okay, very good. So see, we got a perfect score, Anyan. Okay, drives, evening, dances, loads, breakfast, and rolls. Very good. So six points for this part. Okay, so let's have a break first. Anyan, call me again after 15 minutes, okay? Yeah. You can drink your milk first if you want and have your snack for 15 minutes, okay? Yeah. All right, see you again. Wait, I, I will be waiting for you. Yeah. Okay.